And no question, this one hurts. Uh, the offense non-existent after halftime. But really, the larger picture is uh, not enough downfield passing attack. That's a problem for this team. I mean, if anybody thought they had it figured out with the win at San Diego last week, they were fooling themselves. On a day when you rush for 150, 160 as a team, on a day when Steven Jackson gains 110, and you hold the home team to 18 points, you should win that game, but the Rams couldn't generate anything down the field passing. Yeah, Tampa's just not going to give you anything deep. I mean, they took their shots. They just could not complete those passes. Steven Jackson ran as hard as he could, but, you know, it's tough to win just with a ground game, so you need a pass rush to get there, or, or, or a passing game to get there as well. I'm looking at the third quarter stats right now. The Rams' offense ran nine plays in the third quarter. That's not going to beat anybody. No, and when you're completing – when you've got less than 10 yards per completion for a game and your leading receivers, wide receivers, have 29 yards for a game, 9, 11, and 6, you're just not getting it done. That running game and the defense were good enough to win today, but nothing else was good enough for the Rams. No, no, and then they lost guys on the defense at the end. They just were flat worn out, like you said. They were gassed at the end. Finally, they punched it in to take the lead and win the football game. We do want to congratulate Steven Jackson. What a great accomplishment. He passes Eric Dickerson, becomes the franchise's all-time leading rusher. It's a privilege watching him play every Absolutely. week. Absolutely. Bittersweet, though. Yep. For DeMarco Farr, I'm Steve Savard. That'll do it from Raymond James Stadium in Tampa.